everyone welcome to our channel my name is jen and i'm shane and we are the yambors and today we are discussing what is no small feat in any relationship it is us celebrating 13 years together 13 years it's crazy <laughs> <laughs> that is crazy uh man i just can't believe that it's been 13 years we are a teenager in this relationship game yeah, yeah we have reached teenage we years we didn't hit preteen years so with that said let's get into it let's talk about it <laughs> so who would have thought us attending small old goucher college right. in baltimore maryland would have blossomed into us being one transitioning from just being friends meeting at like 18 19 years old just as friends to giving the relationship a try at 19 years old you were 19 i, I was, was 19 20. you were 20 and that was in 2010 wow. to now celebrating 13 years together where we have you know relocated we have gotten a dog, you proposed, we got married, and now we have a baby on the way all in 13 years. Who would have thought that us meeting at Goucher would have blossomed into what we have today? <laughs> truly, truly beautiful. It is absolutely beautiful. And truly a blessing. This is something that neither one of us expected. Mm -hmm. We both had always mentioned like, we didn't think it would last past college. We thought it no, was. No, we thought we didn't we, even think it would last a year when we first started dating. Yeah. It was just a give it a try type of thing. Mm -hmm. We really cared for each other. Yes. And we had so much fun together. Yeah. And that's what really blossomed a relationship to be like, man, let, let's. Let's give this a try. Let's give this a try. Mm -hmm. And we would always hang out together. And, and honestly, I liked hanging out with you more than I liked hanging out with my basketball teammates. <laughs> And well, you know, you know, uh, what can I say? <laughs> Your girl's pretty cool. <laughs> and when I think about those early years in 2010 or just the college years from yeah. 2009 to 2013, I just think about how cool of a girl she was. Mm -hmm. And she was different from all the other girls. And, and, I, and I picked up on that and I realized that. And I knew that you were different and special and i realized like if i really want to it, 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 if there's anybody that has potential here at goucher it would be jen oh thanks and as we took the relationship from 2010 to 2013 those college years those were tough years for us yeah very tough tough for us to you know we're, we're both young we're in mm -hmm. our early 20s i'm on the basketball team we're immature and we really don't even know what we want for ourselves, let alone our relationship. The relationship, yeah. So we were so, just kind of blindly going into this relationship like, well, let's see if it works. Yeah. And not really deciding that we want to be committed to each other. Yeah. We were just kind of doing what we thought was supposed to be the, the next step. Exactly. But it really just comes down to, and we actually mentioned this in one of the other conversations that we just recently had about building on moments building on experiences building on different moments of a mm -hmm. relationship and in times together mm -hmm. and that building the foundation of what you and somebody else can be what right. you and a partner can be right and building on good times and bad times and things that you need you can you can work through and all the success and the fulfillment of doing different things together yeah and i think we built so many great moments and so many fun moments and realizing who we were and then having deep conversations too yeah and knowing who we were individually and realizing like man we have a lot of common yeah we have we can really relate on a, a lot of things you know deep things like yeah. family history mm -hmm. and sympathizing and, and empathizing with somebody mm -hmm. is a beautiful thing in a relationship of and course. i think we were able to do that early on and that built the foundation of who we are today yeah and it's taken time 
But with each year of our relationship from year one to now year 13, we have continued to grow. Yeah. We've continued to, to build mm-hmm. onto something special. And now 13 years later, I'm thinking like, wow, like we have a baby on the way. Yeah. And you know, we're, we're, mm-hmm. we're starting to see what God's plan was all along. Right. Cause we, uh, we obviously did not see the plan he had for us in the, in the very beginning. And not. most people, and most people don't. And I think that's the beautiful thing about how faith works is that we think that we're in control of situations all the mm-hmm. time, or we think that we're supposed to know how, how the plan is going to turn out. And that's not the case at all. And God obviously had different plans for us. We went into the relationship at the very beginning at 19 and 20 years old, just very blindly and very immature and not really thinking about what the future holds long for term. us and not thinking about long term. But one thing that we did have that I think God obviously knew early on is that one, we were friends first, right. which definitely helped because we were able to connect on a level just outside of like intimacy and the infatuation and looks and all of that stuff. And then two, we developed a level of transparency with one another that Mm. I think really trumped some of the stupid mistakes and all of that, that we, that we've made in the past, you know, neither one of us are perfect. And, you know, I think the level of transparency that we had with each other allowed us to deepen our relationship and connect on things outside of just like, the turn up and the fun. And we realized that we had a lot in common when it came to, like you said, like family history, upbringing, our values, our beliefs, like work ethic, you know, being the first to go to college in your family, working hard, me going, trying to finish college and, you know, dealing with the death of a family member, Mm -hmm. my brother, and just so many other things. And And then later on the death of my aunt. Yeah. And then later on the death of your aunt who raised you. And I was just about to say that, you know, and dealing with, very real life situations and it's so funny because (laughs) i remember when we first started dating and this is kind of getting too deep and i know we want to keep this short but remember when we first started dating and my cell phone because i obviously paid for school like by myself i'm gonna finish this statement i i know what you're gonna say my phone used to be cut off every month (laughs) you should have let me say it (laughs) because as soon as you mentioned the cell phone back in the day man it was like i would text her and if I didn't get a text back that day, I was like, oh, yeah, her phone's probably her phone, off. That phone is off. That Shawty phone couldn't pay off. the bill. She could not pay the bills. Um, and so I would be like, yeah, if you get this message on Facebook, it's because I don't know if I'm going to be back next month. I'm still yeah. trying to figure these bills out. That's true. I, yeah. I completely forgot about that. There was a time where it was like, I don't even know if Jen's going to come back. I remember, yeah. and I'm going to keep this really short because right. we don't want to make this too long. But I remember sophomore year. Uh so you came and we weren't this, even dating then. we weren't even dating mm-hmm. we were just friends but after freshman year we really hit it off we were really good friends and jen had said i think during the summer or maybe right before college before freshman year ended and said yeah i don't know if i'm gonna be able to come back i my i think it was sophomore year no it was it was the end of freshman year it was the end of freshman year because I remember what I where I saw you. Oh, got you guys. And that yeah. was sophomore year because of my sophomore year door. Yeah. So <laughs> back to the story. She wasn't sure if she was going to come back to Goucher no. after freshman year because Goucher, you can go look it up, is expensive as hell. Yeah. And, you know, she was getting financial aid but wasn't sure if, if yeah. she was going to be able to get enough financial aid to be able to come back. Right. So long story short, that whole summer, we don't know if Jen is coming back to school. And I'm like, damn, that would really suck. Like at the at the time we were just friends. So it's not going to it's not anything distraught. Right. But I'm like, man, that would really suck because we really were good friends. And, you know, I could see us potentially maybe, you know, trying to start something. Mm -hmm. But then I remember I saw you. (laughs) I remember I saw you the first day. That I came back for sophomore year, moving back in <laughs> to my sophomore year dorm when I was roommates with one of my basketball teammates, yeah. Steve. Mm-hmm. And I saw you out the window with some long braids. <laughs> yeah, I'm those t- braids them, were long. Them, they were <laughs> as long as I've ever seen. They were like down here. <laughs> and I think you had this yellow and white striped shirt on. No, but- I had on a dress. Oh, Okay. All right, yeah. so maybe maybe I mixed it up that part, but I remember. I the, know what you're talking about—the stripe because we went to like a little um, 
they had like a welcome back party or something oh, that okay, day okay, and I yeah. switched into a striped shirt. Okay, yeah. so let me start Good memory that though. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember those long braids. Mm-hmm. And I remember you walking on Van Meter, not Van Meter, on um, the quad. Yeah. On the quad. And I looked out the window. I was like, <laughs> that's, that's Jen. She's back. She's back. Yeah. <laughs> and I was so excited. Yeah. And it's crazy because we were just friends at the time. Yeah. So, like, my excitement right there kind of showed me something. It was like, damn, I'm a little bit more excited than I thought I'd be. <laughs> and I that know. right there kind of goes to show you yeah. that we had something a little special Mm -hmm. rather more than just friends. But even though we were just friends at that time, like I saw something in you and you saw something in me because she was trying to get with your boy. That's for show. We're not even going to go into the whole story. (laughs) She was trying to get with your boy. (laughs) Later. But But he is milking this situation. (laughs) But at the end of the day, when she came back sophomore year, I was so excited. And I saw her yeah. out the window of my sophomore year room. I was like, man, yeah, she's back. And I remember the first like week or two, I was all up on you. And you were yeah. like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, try to play it cool. But because she, we were- <laughs> but she knew. She knew what she wanted. She knew what she wanted down, down deep. No, why? Because. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I need to get into that. But anyway, long um, story short. It's just amazing to see the growth because I look back on like times like that in our experience at Goucher and, you know, we didn't know what the heck we were doing. Right. We were just trying to figure it out. We were young bucks at 19 and 20 years old who just knew that we really enjoyed each other's company. Right. We enjoyed each other's friendship. We enjoyed each other's. We enjoyed spending quality time with each other and we wanted to give this thing a go and I knew if you could survive my family, you'd be good to go. And you survived for once you you asked me to be your girlfriend. And I said, well, great. Well, now that you asked me, I, I want to know what to introduce you as when you come to my family's event. Because I think at that time, that was the first annual um, beach day that we did for my brother's p- passing. Mm-hmm. And... I was just like giving you the rundown on everybody, like who to prepare for, who to be on the lookout for, who's going to grill you, who's chill, this, this and that. And you held your own and you did very, very well. And that was 13 years ago. That was and, 13 years ago. You know, you've seen our nieces and nephews. Like when we started dating, they were one years old and now they're turning 14 it's, in it's, the summer. It's a beautiful thing yeah. to just see the growth of everybody. Yeah. And the growth of us and the growth of our relationship. Yeah. And so, and I really appreciate that DJ is actually a part of why we got together Mm -hmm. because of his event for his memorial. Yeah. Um, we got together because of that event, because you wanted to make sure like, Hey, if I'm going to, if you're going to come to this event, I want to introduce you as my boyfriend, Mm -hmm. not just as a friend. Right. Like I want you to introduce you as my boyfriend. And I was like, okay, well let's, let's give this a try. Yeah. And that was 13 years ago. And now we are here about to have our first son. We got a dog and we're living in Miami. It's crazy. But this is what God had prepared us for and what what he wanted this entire time. So Mm -hmm. I think this is a beautiful way to just wrap it up and just say, man, it's been an incredible, beautiful 13 years and we have a lifetime left to go. And it's it's been a journey, what we always say, just trying to find joy in the journey and trust the process and know that. God got us and we're going to continue to do well if we put the work in. It doesn't mean that there won't be challenging times, but we've we've experienced 13 years together. And I'm looking forward to all the many, many more years that we will continue to share with one another. Who knows? Maybe we'll still be doing this and we reflect back on it and be like, would you look at that? We had 25 years. <laughs> exactly. And that's what that's what this this entire thing is about. Mm-hmm. Just documenting throughout the years and being able, being able to share true love and and, and let let people know that true love truly does exist and we are testaments of that and we're authentic and we're just sharing our process so that it can help somebody else out there right so 13 years a lifetime to go mike cheers happy anniversary happy anniversary (laughs) so my name is shane i'm jen and this is the yambors bye everyone and remember to find joy in the journey peace 
So conversations like this, I think, are super important because as new parents, we have to really evaluate ourselves and us as a couple.